Hello everyone and welcome back to part 12 on how to create the simulator game in Roblox. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you all how to how, how we're gonna be working on the upgrade system. So let's see how it is so far and what changes we have added to it since we last visited. So in the last tutorial we've added this. So if we go here. So we have upgrades and you can buy the upgrade with gems or I think it was at rebirths and you get faster but it was pretty useless because you can't really it does not really work it's just a button that gives you walk speed so what we're going to be doing is we'll be firstly adding a little loading screen to the game so add a screen GUI uh, rename it to loading screen Add a frame to it. Set the size of the frame to one, comma zero, comma one, comma zero. And then you wanna change the background color to whatever you want. I'm gonna have it an, at a nice purple. And maybe I'm gonna have a grid color. So I have this little plug plugin. It's uh, you don't really need it, but I'm just gonna be using it for this. So it has this little like texture thing. And I'm going to be using it. So I'm going to change the size to one comma zero to one comma zero comma one comma zero. I mean comma one comma zero. And then I'm going to add to the frame. Let's rename the frame to main frame. And we're gonna add. And also, if you want that plugin, I'll leave a link to it in the description. So to, to your main frame, main frame, we're gonna add a text label. Now, you want to set the Z index of the text label to 2 or 3, just a higher number. Because if you set it to a lower number, then you won't really be able to... Wait, let's change the Z index of this to 1, so that we can select this one. So, this is going to be your game name. So, let's change this to title. This could be an image label or anything you want. I'm going to change the text to game name. Text scale true. Better UI. Let's make it blue or something. I don't really know. And I'm just going to change the font to a font that I like. And I'm going to make it transparent. And I'm also going to change the borders, the uh, text stroke transparency to zero. And the text stroke color 3 to a nice, I don't know, maybe like a white. And maybe let's make it bigger or something like this. And what we're going to be doing is adding a loading bar. So add a frame, put it wherever you want, make it for example this big and we will add a UI corner to it. So I'm going to add a UI corner, set the corner radius to 1, 0, and I'm going to change the uh, size to. I'm going to use the plugin, uh, which I'll leave a link to it in the description. Uh, go to conv go to unit conversion scale, and I'm going to duplicate the frame, put, put the duplicated frame inside of the frame, and we're going to set its size to. Zero to one comma zero comma one comma zero, and this and then you should just put it right here and scale it down. Now, make sure it's, it's uh, like this big, and you want to change the color to whatever color you want. So I'm gonna have like a nice uh, blue color, which will go like this. So it's gonna scale up to this. So I'm going to have it like that, and inside of uh, we're, we're gonna make sure that the loading screen is disabled, and make sure that the layout order, display order, is set to 100. And then make sure it's disabled so that you can see other stuff happening. And we're gonna add a local script to it, and we're gonna put a we're gonna get twin service, or maybe. 
yeah let's uh, enable it again and duplicate your title or just add a text label to this and rename this to a percentage to or let's just rename it to display let's just change the text to zero percent let's just rename this to display and then i'm also going to be changing the color to a nice black and i'm also going to go back to my other script and we're going to do script dot parent dot enabled is equal to true and then in here we're going to put a weight uh, we're going to put a um, we're going to get two i think yes we're going to get two in service or let me think about this so we're going to get twin service and all right so add an uh, end value inside of the display thing add an end value set its value rename it to f just a random thing let's rename it to x or let's rename it to uh val and we're gonna change this value to zero and what we're gonna be doing is get twin service so local cs is equal to game call to game call and get service tween service and then you want to add a you want to get you want to create a tween i think let me think about this so we're gonna firstly add a local loading time and we're gonna set that up to like 20 seconds or only 15 and in here we're gonna create the tween so local tween is equal to ts colon create and script dot parent dot display dot script dot parent dot display uh, dot val comma or script dot parent dot main frame sorry dot main frame dot display dot val comma and tween info tween info dot new and we're gonna put the loading time and comma and we're gonna set the in here we're gonna put value is equal to 100 and then in here you want to do script dot parent dot main frame dot frame which is this so this bar the background and also make sure you name this to uh bar script dot parent dot frame dot bar column tween size and we're gonna put one comma zero or use him to dot new one comma zero comma one comma zero and then we'll play the tween so uh tween con play and in here you also want to put a comma nil comma uh, nil or let's put enum enum dot easing uh, direction dot uh, out comma enum uh enum dot easing style dot sign and comma and loading time and then you want to close off your parentheses and in here what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to put like a wait five seconds before we join and then this will happen and i forgot to change the text label color i mean text so to do that what we're going to be doing is add a while loop right here so while to do put a wait uh, script dot parent dot dot main frame dot display dot uh, text is equal to script dot parent dot display display dot main frame dot display dot uh, val dot value dot dot and then percentage 
And now if you go ahead and play the game, I hope I, add, I added the weight to the while loop. Or else this entire thing won't work. So, after the wait time, it goes up. And as you can see, it's perfectly timed with this. And when it goes there, it, it went up to 100%. And also, if you want to fix this, this bar thing that, that appears right here, it's also extremely easy to do. All you have to do is just select your loading screen and check ignore GY inset. Okay, so after that, we're going to wait. Uh, let me think about this. So, in here, we're going to check if script dot parent dot main frame dot display dot uh text dot display dot uh val dot uh, value is gr is equal equal to 100 then we're gonna wait three seconds and script dot parent dot enabled is equal to false and i'm also going to improve this i'm going to remove the stroke so text stroke transparency to one and if you go ahead and play the game now it should have a pretty cool loading screen so if you go ahead and load in you should see that this is perfectly timed with this and when it fills up it goes to a hundred percent and we're gonna wait three seconds so and it disappears. And now you have a pretty cool loading screen in your game. Which is pretty essential for a simulator because literally all simulators have a loading screen. And I think in this video we're gonna be adding some other stuff. Or maybe not. We will finish the upgrade shop in the next part which will be a big part, which, which might be coming out tomorrow or the day after. And again, I'm recording this in Friday, so... Yeah, maybe Sunday, I'll finish the upgrade shop. Promised. And yeah, I think this is going to be it for today's tutorial. In this tutorial, we added a really, really cool loading screen to, to our simulator, which is very, very useful, and for some reason, it did not work. Oh, never mind, it worked. So, uh, to fix this, all you have to do is just remove this, put it before the weight 5, and it should be working. And yeah, if this video helped, make sure to subscribe, like the video, share it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!